Hello, everyone. Congratulations, graduates. And I also, on a day for graduation, you really have to congratulate the educators and parents as well. So congratulations to everyone. Um, it's it's really... Yes. <laughs> So it's really an honor to be here today. Um, walking in and seeing everyone in their gowns, it kind of brought me back to my own high school graduation, which now seems kind of far away, but I won't say how far away that was. Um, but I remember sitting in the chair and thinking about, okay, now I'm leaving high school, what's next? Um, I knew I was going to college, and for me, I was the first person in my family um, to go to college, but I really didn't know um, what that meant for my future um, and what would happen after that. Um, so I want to be brief since I know that I'm sure you're all getting excited for graduation after celebrations in the summer, um, but I'll share a few thoughts with you um, as you go to head out onto the great adventure that's going to be after this. So I also have three questions. Maybe that's a, a theme as the mayor has also mentioned his three um, things to remember. So one, what do you want to achieve and how will you get there? Two, what are you going to do for your society? And three, how will you contribute to make the world a better place? And so one of the things that we've already talked about a bit is how important education is in all of this. Um, because you do need education and skills to achieve those dreams, whatever they may be. And I don't need to tell you that there is a hard road ahead of you. Um, and there is a lot of potential. We see a lot of potential here in Kosovo. Um, but it can be tough. So when I talk about education, what I'm saying is, that you need to take this personally. You need to be your own best advocates to get yourselves the tools to build the successful career that you want. This is English language skills, practical skills, technology. Um, it means educating yourself about the world and the workforce around you and making sure that you um, can go out there and make a better future for yourself. And look, Kosovo is full of energy and perseverance and courage because you've had to be, and it's because who you are as a nation. So channel that energy and figure out what it will take for you to get ready to take your place in the world. The second question you have to ask yourself is what will you do for your society to ensure that it progresses and that it embraces equality and bends towards justice? One of the most fundamental ways you can start is committing yourself to women's rights and empowerment. This is something we spend a lot on at, at USAID and other places. As Kosovo's Consul General in New York said, no society can be strong if 50% of the population is left out. Um, and she compared it to basically having uh, two hands but only using one of them. So we know that we hear often about this um, and that it's true. And so I think there's a lot um, that we all can do together to move that forward from equal property rights to political inclusion, participate in the workforce, um, to really face uh, issues in Kosovo and make sure that everybody is included and in working to their full potential. So what do we do? And more to the point, since this is your day, what can all of you do? There's no easy way out of this. You need to question and then reckon with your own assumptions. You have to stand up for yourselves and for each other. You need to speak up when you see something unjust, and not just about women's rights, but issues everywhere. And gentlemen, this also means you. Uh, you have to care about these different issues. Often we talk about um, women's rights or some other, and we kind of think that that just means about women, but it's, it's all of us. Um, and it's, it's about what society you want to live in for future generations and which society that you want to build. 
Um, now I know it's not easy to always raise your hand and be noticed, to call attention to what you know is wrong. It can be hard or even embarrassing to stand out, but this is exactly the kind of bravery required of you to be full citizens and to be leaders. So don't forget that your generation, as so many have already said today, really have the power to change things. I challenge you to think about what you'll do um, in the world to make those changes. As I've said, Kosovo is full of promises and each of you holds that promise within you, but you also bear responsibility to give back to the world in whatever way you can, not because you want to be paid or recognized or praised, but because volunteering is a good thing and not just because it will look good on your resume or help build your networks, but because as Muhammad Ali once said, service to others is the rent you pay for the room here on earth. Right now as you graduate, this is going to be an amazing time in your lives and it's going to be a time of transition and there are a lot of important choices that you'll have to make. Um, so as you wrestle with these choices, with what to study, what profession to pursue, figuring out what you truly care about, uh, what values you hold dear, what's your passion, also ask yourself, what are you willing to do? And then go out and find a way to live your values out loud every single day. Each of you has something precious and unique to offer this world. So find a way to make a difference, and I know that you will. I want to end with one thing. Remember that your voice and your opinions matter. Um, as we heard before um, from the mayor, think critically, ask questions. So always speak up for what you think is right. Even if change feels too slow, know that your voice still counts. And whether it's voting or volunteering or finding some other way to be an active citizen in society, never give up because it's your future and you need to be part of it. Think for yourselves. Hold your leaders accountable. Be a leader. Speak up. Stand for your ideals. And always expose the truth, even when it's hard. This is the challenge. And again, nothing worth having is ever easy. And it won't be easy. As Martin Luther King said, if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving forward. So class of 2017, no matter what else, keep moving forward. The world is full of opportunities you make for yourselves and for the larger society around you. Challenge yourselves to gain a greater understanding of who and what you don't know. Challenge yourselves to stand up and live with purpose every day. And I promise you, it will be rewarding. I'm very proud to be here today, and I wish you all the best of luck on your next adventures, and I hope that you live a life filled with momentum, happiness, and purpose, and always moving forward. And I'm excited to see what you all will do next. I'm sure this won't be the last that we'll hear from you. Um, so congratulations, Yurime.